Someone's got to calm her down. I got this. Shirley? Look at me. Look at my face. Connect with me. Could be rolled up tired of failure. The ultimate blow off class anthropology. Who knew? Woo! Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Shirley, hmm? you're not drinking. Someone is cruising for an A minus. Oh no. Oh no, no. I don't want an A minus. No. No, I'm with child. Well, if it's my child, it's okay to have a drink or two. <laughs> Chang babies love the sauce, you know? Alcohol and duck. <laughs> Little known fact, fetal alcohol syndrome is actually fun for the baby. <laughs> Women have well, like a connectedness to their what? bodies that you would never understand. Right. You have a booger. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Part of me. Oh. Shirley, you okay? Uh huh. Just a little indigestion. Uh oh. Very unorthodox. No, no, no. It's way too early for any of that. Um, my other two came right on schedule. Maybe even a little late. Jordan was in here so long he came out with a driver's license. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not true. How bad Ooh. indigestion do you usually Just have? Fast because we're better at obtaining nutrients. Some need only eight months, depending <laughs> on how much of the mother they eat. How much of the mother they eat? Oh, that uh, makes total Shirley, sense. That is full of chemicals. I wouldn't expose your baby to that. Actually, my doctor said an acid is safe to take. But let me guess who paid for that study. Big antacid. Shirley, chew on a eucalyptus root and, I know it sounds gross, pig saliva. It's the same active ingredient as an acid. They just dress it up with a fancy name. How dare they? Chat, you know, I don't understand why people have such a, what's it called? Antipathy <laughs> to like drugs. But they're also very cool with taking the same thing in its natural setting. Why? <laughs> like, yes, it's the same active ingredient, but one of them has a bajillion other active ingredients that you're taking. Why? <laughs> Why do you want that? Why not just have it isolated and with an exact dose and then take that? <laughs> How is that a chemical and that not? So have you considered natural childbirth? Are you kidding me? I'll take whatever they got. An epidural is a proper Christian woman's only chance to get wrecked. But from what I'm told, the real high is the endorphin rush of a chemical free birth. Backseat birther. Shirley's on her third kid. She doesn't need a 30-year-old slacker with two one-eyed cats governing her body. You disqualified yourself from this conversation the moment you decided to grow a wang. I regret nothing. Star child is going to slide out on a ray of oh. sunshine while your cats each have... Walking on sunshine. Oh, 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 boy. Okay, oh, boy. Can someone please get every mop on campus? Um, did you pick water? Is that broken water? That's broken water! Chang, baby! Was there like, <laughs> what else could it be? I wonder. I'll get it because I am here for you. Oh my god, everything's weird. Oh, oh, that's okay. That's okay because it is natural. It's natural. Are you uncomfortable, Britta? You wish. <laughs> yeah, he does. This can happen, by the way. Sometimes the delivery just, you just fly through it. And some people. Nobody cares about your stupid handshake. A baby is coming out of Shirley's vagina two feet from us. Don't worry. Her contractions are still six minutes apart. So unless her cervix is dilated more than eight centimeters, we still have time to get her to a hospital. <laughs> I delivered a baby earlier this year in the back of an SUV. Usually when it happens like three times in 10 minutes and the cervix is dilated 10 centimeters, then bada bing bada boom, it's, it's time. <gasps> it's time. <gasps> No, it's been overturned. What? <laughs> Abba, what do we do? Shirley, pretend I'm saying this in a soothing, reassuring, non-robotic voice. We're not gonna make it to the hospital. Yes, I am. I'm gonna have this baby at a hospital with my husband and the father of my baby. Unless that father is me, in which case, what you need to do now no. is elevate your legs over your head while- She did separate the two. My husband and the father of my baby, right? Placing the Still northeast works. corner of the room, but- Try not to look at the door, okay? That's bad luck. And Chang babies are very superstitious. Also, if you can visualize a rabbit riding a dragon, it'll increase his chances of winning lotteries. Ben, corner. Listen, Shirley, we're having the baby right here, right now. Those are all medical facts, by the way. 100% facts. I just need to take a look and see how far along you are. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Hobbit. I don't feel comfortable with you 
taking a grand tour of my members. I prefer if it's one of the girls. I can do it. I can do it. I'm good at looking. I'm here for you, Shirley. Okay, Will she even know what she sees? We need to look and see if the baby's head has reached the cervix. No problem, Roblo. <laughs> You don't need to look. You don't need to look with your eyes. That's not... That's not required. <laughs> I take it the head has reached the cervix. Abed! You're disappointing me, Abed. I take it the head has reached the cervix. What? <laughs> Do you know what a cervix is? Do you even know what a cervix is? Chat, it's time for some female anatomy chat. I'm sorry for this. So when, when, <laughs> when Britta looks over here, this is all she's seeing. This is a cervix. This is where the baby is. <laughs> this is the place where they were talking about if it's dilated eight centimeters or not, right? So how, when you look at something, over here! How would you possibly know if the baby's head is over here? How could you possibly know that? <laughs> you look at it with your fingers, okay? If it's reached, you look at it with your fingers. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't look at it with your eyes from outside. Like, hmm. I mean, unless, unless the baby's head is like all the way out, in which case, I mean, you're basically done. <laughs> then yeah, the baby's head has reached the cervix, but it's also past the cervix, <laughs> so. I don't know. That was a weird decision on their part. Just looking at it and then deciding. I take it that it's reached the cervix. It's not how it works. Look at it with I your fingers. It reached the cervix. With these things, you don't have to like oh, okay. go under and look at it. You can literally close your eyes and check. Okay. okay, due to an unforeseen conflict of genitals, I've been disqualified from delivering Shirley's baby. So I'm conflict of genitals. I can't deliver a baby. Either way, someone's gotta calm her down. I got this. Shirley? Look at me. Look at my face. Connect with me. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what to do. Get out of my way. Okay. What? I'm ready. Helping one person while beating the other okay. one. On each contraction, you need to tell Shirley to push. That's it? Well, don't tell any doctors I said this, but at this point in time, the bus pretty much drives itself. Who exactly is the bus in this scenario? <laughs> don't tell any doctors I said this, but at this point in time, the bus pretty much drives itself. Who's don't tell the doctors! Don't tell the OPGYN doctors, but uh... <laughs> yeah, you can tell them. It's true. Like, the less you have to actually help and touch and push and whatever, the better. <laughs> the mom is supposed to do the work, but the doctors are there in case of an emergency. Like let's say the baby's shoulder gets stuck and it can't come out and it's gonna die in there. <laughs> then, then you might need some help from the doctors, you know? That's the problem. It's not that every single birth 100% needs a doctor. Not really, even though it'd be like in more, in more sterile conditions if, if you are doing it with a doctor. But yeah, the bus pretty much drives itself. The doctors are only there to observe and see if there's any problem. If there's no problem, good, keep going. And if there's a contraction, push. If there's no contraction, all right, chillax. That's pretty much it. Exactly as the bus in this scenario. And then you obviously catch it. Push, 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 push. push. Bring it up. I don't know how babies aren't dropped that often though. They're so, they're so slippery. <laughs> Not that I've helped one, but like, it's like, how do you hold that? They usually hold it by the femur. It looks like I would drop it in a second. I'm in the zone. It. Come on! Greendale. Push it! Push it! It's baby Greendale! You guys don't have to name it that. I don't claim that. At least call it Dale deliver. or something. Focus! Oh, I'm merely the deliverer. Push! 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 I'm basically. God! Also, you don't usually hold it like that. <laughs> it's definitely his. 
What was that, by the way? Is that? Yes. It's definitely his. How is that a way to hold the baby? Wouldn't it just like flop over? Yes. It's definitely his. Look at that! It's just holding it from the midsection. <laughs> see, you clamp it from one side. You can't see where I'm pointing, obviously. You clamp it from one side. You clamp it from the other, and then you cut it from the middle, and then it doesn't burst all over the place. Did that just happen? <laughs> Congratulations, sir. After a fierce campaign, I happily concede this baby to you. It's pretty classy of me. Can you believe that's how we come into this world? Screaming, crying covered in crap and then somewhere along the lines we get it into our heads that we're destined for great not everyone's covered in crap though that that kid wasn't covered in crap was he yes we I don't are think so. i just yanked a little dude out of my friend yeah i guess we passed anthropology <laughs> <laughs> right that's how it works so there's this thing called meconium it's like the sloughed off intestine and colon parts it's not like actual crap it comes out in the first like day it's like tar black and sometimes if the kid is like under a lot of distress or if it just waits too long sometimes that comes out when they're in the womb and sometimes that means they're covered in it and sometimes that means they aspirate it which would be meconium aspiration syndrome which and that's not great i guess crap more like, you know, general crap, as in stuff. But just want to clear that up. <laughs> Babies usually are uncovered in crap. Any his hands are. They're so little, right? Two his completely like different holes, places. you know what I, I mean? <laughs> Unless you're like a chicken or something, in which case you have a cloaca, in which case all from the same hole, baby. They're so little, right? And his fingers are like good and plenty. I know, I want to eat them. Which is lame. Totally. We take that test today, we are definitely going to fail it. Okay, let's do it. It's fake, isn't it? I think I remember that. Yep. Safety hazard time. <laughs> what are you guys doing? 10,000 bucks. Now. Cancel school today or tell everybody about this. That's it. Deal. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> and that's that. How many of you guys have watched Community? Because I recommend it. I commend it and then I recommend it. I again and again. 